Welcome to my 152nd trailer reaction and review. Dum dum, I'm so fucking dumb because I didn't really know what Rogue One, a Star Wars story, was, and I still kind of don't. Shows what I know. See, I grew up watching Star Wars a couple times. I was never the biggest fan. I loved Jaws. I loved Jurassic Park. Star Wars, okay, I watched the prequels more because I was stupid. They suck, I know. But the original three, I liked to watch too. I saw the seventh one in theaters and it sparked my interest again. And I hear this is supposed to take place after A New Hope. So technically it's episode 4.5 or 1.5, depending on how you look at the series. Anyways, let's go to Mofo full screen. And here we go oh, now. State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Forgery of Imperial documents. Possession of stolen property. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? She's gonna say, I rebel, is she? I rebel. Ha! I called it. We have a mission for you. A major weapons wow. test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. The Death Star. Nice. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> what will you do? When they catch you. What will you do if they break you? Whoa. If you continue to fight. Ah, oh, getting Empire Strikes Back vibes. What will you become? <sighs> the rogue one is what you'll become. Yeah. I love the piano. Oh man, I got like serious vibes of uh, New Hope from that trailer. Actually, no, I got a serious vibe of the whole original Star Wars movies. The special effects, the vibe, as I said before, the lighting, the camera work, the sets, everything looks just like an old Star Wars movie. And that's perfect if it takes place right after A New Hope, because it's like an old Star Wars movie. And also, I think it's a smart idea that they're keeping it like an old-fashioned Star Wars movie, because it's in a movie that was made in the 70s and probably took place quite a few years before The Force Awakens, so everything isn't as up-to-date as it was in The Force Awakens. Technology still progresses, you know. I don't care what you say! <sighs> I got, oh, so many battle vibes from this trailer. Uh, let's see. Edge of Tomorrow, Saving Private Ryan. Just those kind of vibes, like the beach attack. I don't even know if they were on a beach. It kind of looked like that, and it gave me that vibe. If it takes place between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back, I hope they bring in Darth Vader. Although he was really busy in A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back, where would he have time to be in this story? How could this fit in if he never told anyone about it? And the originals, like, what are they going to do? Have a new edition come out and be like, oh yeah, add this in there, so now Rogue One really fits in there well now, doesn't it? I hope that is not the case, because then I will be really pissed. The re-edited editions really suck. I mean, the bar scene in the original Star Wars movies, <laughs> Fuck that guy. So yeah. yeah man, it's cool. It's cool. Overall, I give the teaser trailer for Rogue One, a Star Wars story, a 4.5 out of 5. Lion Brain Gatto, host of horror show movie reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.